Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy here. Uh, just for shits and giggles, um, the, the Vinny St. Vincent, it's my Doberman's name, Vinny. My last name St. Vincent. And uh, uh, the picture I just posted on my YouTube uh, is the Doberman. He's a blue, he's three years old, 160 pounds, Scooby-Doo mentality, and he's wearing his glasses. He looks very smart. And um, I, I, I wanted to go over a couple of things tonight that uh, I, I, I've been working on this thing, and I, I just, I'm in love and I'm passionate about it. And uh, a couple of things I need to go over with you guys. One is this, this iron tube that goes to the ground. And I, I, I'm, I've been thinking about some of the comments that have been left uh, on my latest video. And I like the fact that uh, somebody had mentioned about uh, harmonizing to the, uh, the frequency of the earth. And once you tap into that, you pull out a algorithm sort of uh, through, and this machine would allow that to happen, which would allow it to perpetually transmute power from the inside to the outside, from the outside to the inside, and bring back and forth. And, and another thing is I wanted to mention also is that um, some of you guys who have worked on things out there, Angus Wangus, I'm going to give kudos to, um, you know, so, some of the guys out there that are working on, on different stuff, everything you do helps everybody to get to the, the, the point to where we no longer can rely on, 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 on fossil fuels or, or mechanical uh, type of storage of, of energy uh, to a point to where we can just uh, make it happen. And, and, and at this point here, I just wanted to talk about this because this here, I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay, well, Ed Scallon's replica here uh, of uh, iron tube going to the ground. This one's a little bigger in diameter, but his is the same format. And it goes down in the ground. Now, when I was out at Cora Castle and I was like going underneath his block go into the ground. Now, see, mine's off the ground only for a reason because I'm doing experimental. But his just touches the ground. Not only does it touch the ground, the bottom part of this center, um, the flywheel to the crankcase, and the bottom part here that you can see where my hand is, that's going into the ground. <clears throat> and what I did was... In some of the research I was doing with Edley Scallon's work, some of the videos that you see on YouTube um, had, well, actually, it was one of the books. And, and when I went to Coral Castle, one of the books had mentioned that a gentleman was dropped Edley Scallon off to his brand new property that he found and he liked. And, and I think the reason he liked it was because it had... Very little soil. It was very easy easy to get to was the coral rock. And what I noticed is a couple of things. I want you guys to go back on some of the old videos I have and look at some of the tools that Ed Leo Scallon had. And one of them was like a two inch, two and a half, three inch wide. And it looked like a um, sort of something you would hammer on the end because it was beaten in. But it was two and a half two and a half foot long, and, and, and ground it down to a point. And the, some of the facts that I'm going to bring out with Edley Scallon is that became electroplates. And what he did was he pounded that, he dug down to, to a parameter around a block. And what he did was once he got that parameter, there's water down in that coral. And, and you could tell that when I looked down his well and went down to his well, there, there was water two and a half feet deep. So what that told me was if you take iron plates, which he did, because if you look on his rocks and do a close-up on your videos, guys, you know what I'm talking about. You do a close-up on the videos, and what happened is you see these little two and a half inch, three inch wide little wedges in, in the block. 
and you also see a hole driven, uh, driven through through the through the block. But you see these little wide grooves, and there's about four of them in each big block. And what you have there is he took these wedges and he drove them in with a hammer because the ends are beaten in. And I have uh, video or pictures out there on my old uh, postings of, of of what I'm showing, and it's, I even picked them up, put them near the wheel, and took the video of it or the pictures. So take, check them out. But what he did was he drove four of those. There's four grooves in every big boulder that surrounds the whole building. And what he did was he drove these in partially, as hard as he can get them in, and then he connected the electric to them. And what he did was he, he made it like an electroplate, like a battery. And once that ate through the whole bottom, all he had to do was just snap the whole section off, and he can lift it up. And if you look at... That video that Mike from Space put out there from a friend of his that put out the video from Ed Leascow in the 30s. It's the first and only video that we only have of him actually picking up these big boulders out of the ground and he's rolling them out. You can see that he's logically doing the things that make sense to us in those videos. But in reality, in the 1930s, he wasn't doing his electric stuff yet. He was still working on his, his, his skills and labors of what he did as a stonemason. What he did start doing is, if you read Magnetic Current, it says in my last two years, look at the date on that book. My last two years I spent studying about electric because nobody knew what it was about. So what he started to do was take this, was nothing in the beginning it wasn't even about this it was it wasn't even about radio the gentleman took he had no electric coming in his house he had car batteries he his best friend was the uh, the guy that owned the grocery store down the street and also the guy that had the uh the uh auto salvage yard because it had all the model t fords that uh, most of them were being melted down for war but a lot of them being saved with these magnets. That's why these magnets are hard to get, these guys. This, these magnets have the composition of things. You know, you, some people out there are saying, you know, this is a hodgepodge. Not this, but Ed Scallon's wheels, a hodgepodge, you know, weak mechanism of, of, of creating something great. But you know what? Yeah, I think that's a bunch of hodgepodge, too, because... If you take a neodymium magnet right now, one side's positive, one side north, that don't even compare to to having a V magnet where there's a neutral set back here or a positive and negative in the front. Neodymium don't even compare to these magnets. So when you want to go ahead and just start, you know, taking his wheel and his creation of of of, of I think he tuned in to the natural mechanisms of everything. When he said he knew how they built the pyramids, what he really meant is that he understood just like they understood on, on, on how everything works. So anyway, going back to this pipe. This here, if you look at some of his, his one video, or no, it was one picture he has out there of him turning the wheel. Well, you see a picture of this pipe, and you see something crazy on top. You know what? As much as I can magnify it, I don't get much out of it. But what I what I do get is if you think about a Tesla coil, this pipe connected to the earth with smaller wire on top wound around the insulator, in a hollow tube, creating what comes out of the top of the Tesla. Everybody's so infatuated on what? What are they infatuated on? On the sparks coming out and running to ground. This is ground. But if you're able to draw out from the ground through a Tesla coil, which is putting high voltage. I'll just sit in here. You look at these cables. <laughs> I would just sit in here playing around with. I just turned this puppy on a few, quite a few times. Blew the breaker twenty times. But what I what I was doing was I was sending it in high voltage through the top of this coil. I was sending 
you know, you see what's going on here is this mod, which is a lot of volts, guys. You know that. I got the ground going to the ca the chassis. The chassis is connected to the top pipe. Top pipe's grounded down the end with with the magnetic wire. Uh, copper wire going down to a pipe, going across, going back up. So there's your ground. Ground coming off there, going to the top wire. I got the bottom wire coming off the positive part of this, coming down from here. And then I also have it coming back up to the bottom of this wire. I also have it going through this. You know, not right now, but I've been experimenting different things. And what I'm seeing this... The more I look into Ed Lee Scallon's work, I believe that this pipe resembles more of a Tesla coil because if you're sending in high voltage at the bottom and coming up, what you're doing here is you're transforming these waves out in a different rhythm, a different frequency. And what, you, what you're doing is you, you're coming across and you're sending it out to the top of this. And... and I'm not even talking about this yet, but just this itself, this has a lot to do with maybe the, you know, I was talking about this here being the timer, but I believe now that the timer may be the earth. The earth tapping into the earth down to the core, you know, would be the one version of what we can try out to see what's going on. Um... So my next video here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring a buddy Seth on and him and I are going to go over the rest of the comments. This video here, we'll bring some more comments in. You guys, you have great comments. You bring them on. And um, what, what I like to do here is at, compile these comments, the ones from my last video. Seth, Seth and I are going to go, I'm going to email him the comments. And what we're going to do is go through every comment that's, you know, a legitimate comment um and 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 what we're going to do is just talk about it and this is just all just a talk out i want everybody here to put this video on close your eyes or do what you're doing in your garage and work it out and just do what you're doing and just listen to what we're talking about because it's going to take the great minds of everybody to make something like this really work and my my whole thing is Edley Scallon obviously was tuned in to the natural powers. You guys have a great night. Love your comments. Um, pretty soon I'm setting up the workshop here and we're going to call it Edley Scallon's workshop. And pretty much we'll just take this thing and we'll keep it going. You guys have a great night. Thank you.